and welcome to my first video series introducing acoustic percussive techniques for the guitar. The idea of acoustic percussion is that you bang or slap your guitar in a way that imitates the sound of a drum kit, ultimately giving you more dimensions or more dynamics to your songs. I must warn you though, if you do use percussion on your acoustic guitar, there is a danger that you might seriously impress the people that are listening. So in this series, I'm gonna be teaching the thumb slapping technique, which is a, a technique that mimics the sound of the snare drum. It's not just a technique for solo fingerstyle artists. You may have seen more popular artists like Ben Howard use this technique also. I have taught this technique a few times before, or a lot of times before, in some of my previous lessons, and if you want to go and learn a technique using a song rather than a series of exercises, which is what this series will be, there'll be a list in the description for you to go and check out some of the songs that use this technique and you can learn it in a song rather than in a series of exercises like this. So to start off, it's going to be a very basic and it's going to get progressively more advanced as we go along through this series. At the beginning, I'm going to assume that you've never used this technique before and hopefully by the end of the series, you're going to be a pretty capable, if not a very advanced player of this technique. So this thumb slapping series is going to be three, maybe even four parts long. This is part one that you're watching right now. It's going to deal with the very basics. Part two is going to be kind of intermediate and part three, part four is going to be more advanced still. So if you're not an absolute beginner with this technique, then you, you might find that some of the exercises in this lesson a bit basic, a bit easy, so you might want to skip through some of the exercises early on in this lesson. However, it might be a good idea to stick around for the very beginning of this video while I describe all the movements and tips for making this technique work. You might have missed something the first time that you learn how to do this. Right then, it's time to get started. I'll start off by describing how to perform the technique and then we'll add in some more music along with the technique itself. So the technique looks a bit like this. You're slapping your thumb into the strings. The part of the thumb that you're using is this side knuckle part of your thumb. Imagine my hand here is the strings and the thumb comes into the uh, strings like this. And then what happens is the strings get pushed into the fretboard or slapped into the fretboard or the very last fret that's here by the whole of your guitar. And that's what generates that cracking sound. Okay, so give it a bit of a practice. The way to get this is by twisting your wrist and the idea is to not bring your hand away from these strings as you're doing a slap or too far up or down. You're not trying to strum. All you're doing is twisting your wrist. You want to keep your hand as close as possible to the whole of your guitar or to the strings so that your fingers are able to or can quickly address the strings again when you need to pluck them directly before or directly after the slap. The key is try and economize your movement or try and use as little movement as possible when performing the slap. So the movement that we're aiming for, if you still haven't got it, if you stick your palm out of your left hand and press your middle finger into the palm of your hand with the other fingers out, what you do then is you pivot on that middle finger, turning your wrist backwards and forth. Now this is the movement that you need out of your wrist. This is exactly how it's done, okay? Now if you bring your hand down, trying to imagine that you're pivoting on this middle finger all along, <clears throat> trying to keep that as stationary as possible, this is the movement that you're getting from your wrist, okay? This is how it needs to turn. So like I said, practice that. So you're aiming for string six, which is the top string here. 
But don't worry if you're hitting string five as well. Most of the time, it's not going to matter. In fact, you can hit as many strings as you like, provided that they're not supposed to be ringing when you slap. So another tip is the faster that you bring your fit thumb into the strings, the louder the crack's going to be. And generally, the louder the better. Do be wary if you try and go too fast. It might affect your accuracy. You might start hitting the body of the guitar by mistake, or it might affect your tempo as well. You might start playing out of rhythm. So let's move on to some of the exercises now. We've got the basics of this movement. Now we're going to start off really, really easy. So if you look at exercise one on your sheet, so it'll be down on the bottom right hand side of the screen as we're going through it. If you put your finger on the third fret of the fifth string, we just play five with your thumb and then slap into the string straight after. And this is all we're doing for now, just a thumb, pluck, slap, pluck, slap. Okay, we're going to go through this with four bars worth just to get used to this movement. So I'll count us in, you'll play it together. One, two, three, four. So that's the end of exercise one. We'll move on now to exercise two. This is gonna be, again, very simple if you've done this before, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move the note that we're playing with our left hand over to the third fret on the sixth string. We're gonna alternate that. So we're gonna play two on the fifth string, and then two on the sixth string. This is gonna get you used to moving your thumb around while you're slapping, okay? So I'll count as in again, one, two, three, four. And that'll do it for exercise number two. Those first two were very, very easy. We're gonna move on now to exercise number three. It's gonna be slightly harder. And what we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna add, add in a couple of extra notes or a few extra notes. So with your left hand, if you want to fret the third fret on the fifth to begin, and also you're going to need the third fret on the second string fretted as well. Everything else is going to be open for now. So what we're going to do, we're going to play the fifth string with our thumb, followed by index on three, middle finger on two, and ring finger on one. Okay? So we're going to go five, three, two, one. Straight after, we're going to slap, okay? And it's going to sound like this. Okay, so I'll count us in. We'll play this for a total of four bars. And let's see if we can do it together, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the end of exercise number three. Exercise number four now is just a variation on what we've just done, but we're gonna alternate this time between the thumb on five to the thumb on six, which is in the third position again. Okay, so we're gonna play two of each and alternate them. Okay, I'll count us in. We'll play a total of four bars and let's see how we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the end of exercise number four. And don't worry if you start to stumble on these exercises. Now, the idea is that you get to practice these over and over and over again before you move on or in conjunction with moving on. You know, add it into your practice or your daily practice if you need to, just to get used to these movements. Pluck in, slap in, pluck in, slap in. Okay, let's move on now to exercise number five and see how we're going with that one. So here, what we're doing is we're adding some more plucks after the slap. We're not just slapping and stopping. We're playing four notes, slapping, and then playing another three notes straight after. Okay, so if you come back to the original position that we had. Okay, 
first four notes are exactly the same and then slap. Straight after the slap this time we're playing three, two, three. So we're slapping and then the next note is with the index finger on the third string followed by two, three again. So it sounds like this. Okay, not only are we going to do that, we're going to alternate the bass note as well. So we're going to do two on this position. And then two on this position. Remember that the right hand sequence is exactly the same when you do change position other than the thumb pluck is on the sixth string, not the fifth. Okay, so our count is in. We're going to play this together. One, two, three. Four. Okay, that's the end of exercise number five. Do remember to rewind and repeat uh, any parts that you're struggling with uh, before you move on, just so you can get it more fluid. Okay, next is another variation, um, exercise six now, another variation of what we've just done, but this time instead of plucking the third string straight after the slap, what we're gonna do is play another thumb pluck after the strap, slap, just to make it a little bit more difficult. Here you've got a slap and a thumb pluck straight after, so you've gotta move your thumb pretty fast for this one. And this goes like this, five, three, two, one, slap as we were doing, but straight after the slap, like I said, five, and then two, three. Okay, so basically substituting the pluck on the third string with the thumb pluck on the fifth. So we're playing. Okay, and like last time as well, we're gonna alternate that with the bass notes. So we're playing this on the second bar. Okay, so I'll count us in. Two, three, four. Okay, that concludes exercise number six. And do remember if you're having any trouble with these, replay the video or practice on your own time before moving on. Okay, on to the last exercise now of this video. We're gonna be playing this. Basically we're just adding some extra bass notes in there in the different positions. So the shape we're going to be using here will be the 3rd fret on the 5th string, 2nd fret on the 4th string, 3rd fret on the 2nd string. That will be the first shape. The second shape if you move the index and middle finger up one string each, you've got 3rd fret on the 6th, 2nd fret on the 5th. And then the 3rd fret on the 2nd string stays there. shapes we've got now. So what we're doing here, starting off exactly the same, five, three, two, one, slap. And this time we're playing the bass note straight after the slap comes on the fourth string, okay? Followed by two, then three. So we've got Okay, that's twice. Over to the second shape. Playing that this time, so it's six, three, two, one, slap, followed by five, one, two. Okay, and um, again, we do that twice and then repeat. So I'm going to count as in now, I'm going to play it all together, and let's see if we can do it. Two, three, four.
And so that concludes our introduction lesson for the thumb slap. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, remember to show your appreciation by clicking the thumbs up button. Remember that the practice sheet is available for download for free from my website. Simply click the link that's on your screen now, uh, directly below me, or again, the link in the top of the description. If you do have any questions about the lesson, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. In the next parts of the lesson, I will be introducing more advanced movements like slapping and strumming at the same time. And then further on down the line, I'll be showing you how to do slapping and just flicking a single note at the same time. It gets pretty advanced then. So to access my videos 100% free as usual, you'll need to click the link that's on your screen again, or otherwise top of the description if your annotations aren't enabled. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.